page 18, swinging along. Well, here they're introducing the idea of the thumb coming under. But if you've been doing the scales like I've been encouraging you to, you can already do the thumb under, and you can come under a lot better than, I mean, this is, would be easy compared to doing the scales. It's like their little line they show up above, where you have here, thumb, thumb. This fingering is only for this little exercise because typically in this kind of a passage we would not finger it this way. All they're doing is getting the thumb here. You're working the thumb is all you're doing. You're not really moving the hand too much. You just move. You need to do it in both hands. You do in one hand, you want to do in the other. Train both hands. Now we get this move in this swinging thing. So let's see what we got here. It is four lines long, sort of. Yeah, more or less. Treble bass clef, no sharps or flats in the key signature. So we're back in the key of C major. Make sure you can do the C major scale. Three, four time signature, and we have a pickup measure because there's only two beats in that first measure. That means the first beat is someplace else. If you look at the bottom, the last measure has one beat in it. That's beat one, and we come in on beat two. That's important, and I'll explain a little more why later in the lesson. Let's take this one hand at a time and make sure we understand what each hand is doing. The right hand, this is where we're doing the one, two, one here. So it's two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, tie. Bring the thumb down. One, two. You get the idea? You, you do. I don't want to spoon feed you the notes. I want you to read the music and be able to play it on your own. Left hand, well, we have the broken chords. We have the F chord at the beginning. Now, they want you to move your hand up. I would encourage you not to do that. They're keeping you in a nice, neat five-finger position. We're going to get out of that. You're already starting to spread out a little bit anyway. So on that second measure, use a four. You're in this position. Use a four and just bring the thumb up here. And then the next line, you just reach down to five. And you do it again. Four. Then come down. Back up here. Last line, thumb comes down. And the, uh, you actually, you move the whole hand but the thumb. The, the whole hand came down. And here, four, and down. Just use a four on that G minor chord. Put the hands together, and we're here, and here, and then here. put the hands together and then go back and work out the kinks. No hesitations, no hesitations. Keep it slow, it's fine, no hesitations. And then we think about the articulation, which again they're not giving us any. Put in the phrasing if you can hear the musical sentences. Now if you can't hear them you pretty much have to connect it. I have to play it a little quicker in order for me to hear the sentences. I'm lifting up between each one. So if second line on the tied note ends a phrase, lift up, come up. Like take a breath. Third line, that tied note again, that ends a phrase, lift up before you go on. It's like each tied note ends a phrase. So you lift up, lift up. Yeah, so put in the phrasing. The left hand you just play it. Just as rest. Connect what you can. Do, do that. Then the dynamics. P for soft, and it's the only one they give you. So you're sort of on the soft side. The left hand's got to be very soft. 
If you feel like getting a little louder in places, go for it. That's feeling. Now right now when you're first doing it, it's mechanical and you're just trying to get it. But after you get to know it and you're comfortable with playing it, you feel the music and then you can might feel it a little louder and softer in places. That's okay. Speed, moderato, and it's just somewhere in the middle. <laughs> No, okay, that's one count. Don't hold it out. Anyway, that's my moderato. You can go, f I wouldn't go any faster than that, but you can go a little slower than that if you would like. Let's play together very slowly and check the notes and the rhythms. Now give us four counts. A full three because it's a three, four time, plus one because we come in on beat two. One, one two, ready, go.